If you saw yesterday's vlog, and that's the one where I'm doing a freestyle photo shoot with Allison Lipkin, you probably noticed that I was using my typical DSLR 50 millimeter combo that I'm always talking about. And I like to keep things simple like this, especially for these freestyle photo shoots, uh, because that allows me to focus my attention on the mood and action of the shoot. Which brings us to the subject of today's vlog, and that is freestyle photo shoots and how I usually get them done. And let me start off by saying that I do appreciate proper, deliberate, precise technique when it comes to lighting and posing, but I don't always like to work that way. In fact, I prefer to go minimal. And when I'm talking about minimal, I mean, I'm talking about wardrobe, uh, environment, and that's the background, props, gear, lighting, everything. And this has a lot to do with trying to maintain a comfortable, carefree mood during the shoot. You know, yesterday's shoot with Allison was just one of those days where it was hot. I really didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff with me. I didn't even bring a reflector or a scrim with me, even though I knew that the lighting was going to be pretty harsh. It's going to be challenging to work with, but I decided, look, I'm just going to take a camera and a lens, take Allison out and, uh, you know, work with the environment, work with what I'm given. Now, photographers who are just getting started with serious technique are probably not going to appreciate or understand this, but sometimes I just don't care about bad lighting or exposure problems or things like that. I don't worry about satisfying all the so-called rules of photography. You know, things like uh, don't have any bright spots in the background to draw the viewer's eye to that because that distracts from the subject or whatever. Sometimes I just don't worry about that stuff. And don't get me started on color cast and trying to get that perfect accurate color because it's another thing I'm gonna mess with in post. I'm going to alter the colors. I really don't care if the colors are perfect. Lots of times I really could care less if the colors are accurate. I just, I'm looking for a mood. I'm looking for a feeling out of these photographs. I'm not looking for some kind of perfection or accuracy. You know, I'm not doing forensic or scientific work. I'm not trying to reproduce things for the sake of cataloging. I'm creating portraits and sometimes they're black and white and sometimes there's some kind of like a sepia tone things and sometimes they look like old film pictures. So I just wanna make pictures that are interesting to look at. Now I'm not suggesting you shoot crap photos. I mean, I do put effort into composition and my experience comes into play when it comes to lighting and things like that. I will use the environment and you know my experience to craft a picture the best I can given the circumstances. So what is freestyle portraiture? Well to me this is what it means. It's when you don't have a specific concept in mind and lighting and posing aren't up front and center as far as what you're trying to demonstrate to your viewer. Again freestyle portraits to me are about mood and having fun. If you're interested in doing some freestyle portraiture let me just give you an idea of my process. First, what I'll do is I will put out a model call uh, out on something like Model Mayhem or Craigslist or Facebook, or I'll just contact someone I've worked with before. And people I've worked with before usually know what to expect. Uh, they know just to show up and bring along something that they think might work for the shoot, and you know, in terms of wardrobe. And that's usually very casual pieces, maybe uh, jeans and a tank top or something like that. And we'll just try different things as we progress through the shoot. Sometimes they'll have ideas, sometimes I'll have ideas. You know, I try to keep it collaborative. Now, even though I like shooting minimally, if we're shooting indoors, which is usually the case, uh, I have a little more leeway as far as the lighting goes because I don't have to carry it around with me. I mean, it's, it's sitting right there. I might as well use it. But even so, I'll stick to maybe one or two flash units and uh, I'll often just use them unmodified, which means no shoot through umbrella or softbox or anything. I'll just use just the bare flash to get the kind of looks that I usually go for. Uh, which tend to be a little grittier or harsher. Now, of course, I also love the look of window lights, so if I've got that to work with, all the better. As far as lighting goes, you know, your experience is gonna guide you. Just, you know, like I always say, try to keep it simple, uh, whether this is a freestyle shoot or a more traditional shoot. Use what you need, don't really go overboard, and then that way you can focus more on the subject and not so much you know, fiddling with uh, camera settings and light settings and things like that. And I mean, the bonus to a freestyle shoot anyway is that you're coming up with ways to use your lighting on the fly. So it's a good creative exercise. Now, as far as models go, the models I've worked with before know what to expect from me. They know what type of photography that we're gonna do. Uh, we're usually gonna do edgier, more dramatic stuff. For my freestyle shoots, I try to keep things very positive and relaxed 
and I like working with people who are interested in the creative process. Now, this keeps things very collaborative and the results are usually a lot better than uh, just working with somebody who shows up for a paycheck. Now, I'd encourage you to do some freestyle creative shoots like this. I mean, even if you're a working professional photographer, I think this is a good way for you to continue to develop your creative muscles. When you put yourself in a position where you're having to solve lighting and other problems on the fly, I think this can even help you with your traditional portraiture. Uh, it can help keep things from getting stale and once you get your basic shots out of the way you can sort of experiment with more creative poses and creative lighting scenarios. Really shooting freestyle is a lot of fun and anything that can keep you excited about photography is a good thing.